Hello, this is Paul Shearer. Today we're going to be taking a look at doing a proof of concept with the Acronis Imaging software and see if we can use that to expand out the boot partition of a uh, Windows XP workstation that's currently running in VMware. The idea is that right now we only, on this Windows XP uh, workstation, we only have a 12 gig hard drive and we want to see if we can expand that out to something a little bit larger. Maybe like a 20 gig hard drive. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add an additional hard drive. Uh, to do this we're going to go and do the add hardware command. And the reason that we're adding an additional hard drive is so that we can have somewhere to write our backup image to. Uh, so we're going to create a new virtual hard drive. 8 gig sounds fine and we'll just go with the default options. Alright, now we have an 8 gig hard drive out there. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start up our VM image, our VMware server. flip over to console and in just a second it should give us an option there it is to launch the console and one important thing to note here if um, your BIOS settings on your VMware server are as such that it's not going to uh, see boot into Windows for right now that it's not going to boot from media but it's going to boot for from hard drive first before you want uh, before you attempt to get it to boot off a of Cronus you're going to need to go in and modify those BIOS settings to make it boot off of the hard drive and that's actually very easily done once again from VMware manager you would just go to uh, See, I believe it's summary oh, configure VM and go to power and right here you would select to enter the BIOS screen next time the VM boots so we'll go ahead and cancel out of here since we're already configured that way. And now if we go and open up Windows Explorer on our VM, we should see that uh, we have one hard drive out there, the C drive, and that it is currently 12 gig in size, and it is. So we're now going to go to Manage Hardware, go down to Disk Management. It's going to uh, tell us we've got a new disk, going to say next, 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 and finish. Now it set this up as a dynamic disk and that's a problem because a Cronus will not see it. So we're going to right mouse click here on the disk and we're going to tell it to convert it back to basic. We're going to right mouse click, tell it to create it as a new partition, next, primary partition, all 8 gig, Sure, we don't care about drive letter. We do care, though, that it's a quick format because we're very impatient. It's formatting, and it should be done in just a second here. All right, we're now good to reboot our server. Tell it to restart. And when we come back up, we should be booting into a Kronos. And there we go. We're going to tell it to launch the full version. I'm going to say do a backup. Choose my computer. We're going to select our C drive. we're going to tell it to back up to the D drive. We'll say XP Pro and the date. Uh, 
tell it to create a full backup. Noting that we did have the option, if we have previously created a full backup, we could have also done an incremental at this point. Now we'll tell it to proceed. So I'm guessing this is actually going to take about 10 minutes for it to complete. And I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video at this point and we'll pick back up when it's done. Alright, the backup has completed. It took a little over 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and stop our VM at this point.